Hello, welcome back to my channel. And today in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make this wonderful coconut botacan, bofro, kala, whatever you name it, puff puff. Yes, it's a coconut puff puff. All right. So first, you are gonna need about three cups of flour and I am using measurements for people who never made this before, but yes, three cups of flour and here I have nearly a cup of sugar, one cup almost. And if you want more sugar, that is totally up to you. So also you're going to need um, grated coconut. This is also another option. My household, we love coconut. So I just cracked the coconut and grated it myself. And you will need fresh, fast rising yeast. I am using instant yeast, but you're gonna need yeast anyways. <laughs> and also here I have about a cup of coconut milk and I did make it from a fresh coconut and I also have my nutmeg as well and um, yeah you're gonna need a big bowl I forgot to mention that part but I think we all know that so first I am just cutting open my yeast because I like to start my yeast first you know, so I'm just putting it into a little bowl. And now I'll be adding in water to the yeast. And if you accidentally put too much water, don't worry. Just don't use all of it. But in the meantime, just mix the yeast with the water. And now you will also be seeing me scrape some of the yeast powder to the side with the water because I didn't really want it to actually like be in clumps. So yeah, please mix properly. And if you have a whisk, that's also helpful, but I didn't have that. <laughs> but now I'll be putting my saran wrap around the bowl. And since it's instant yeast, we'll let this sit for about 10 minutes. I know some people will say five, but uh, I'm doing 10, okay? So now we will use the flour, the three cups of flour, and we will sieve it into a bowl. Now this is just so that we can make sure our flour is even, okay? You want to make sure that the flour is even. When you mix it, you don't want it to be clumpy because I have had that happen to me before and I don't want it to happen to you guys. So please sieve first, okay? Please sieve first. And we will do the same thing with sugar because as you can see here, it already had a little bit of clumps and I don't like clumps. I like everything even. So please save your sugar as well. So now I'll be adding in the grated coconut. And um, yeah, I love, I love coconut so much. And I will also be adding in my nutmeg because nutmeg brings life to everything. You can also use cinnamon, but I didn't have it. So here now I'll be adding in all of my coconut milk. But the thing is I like to add it time by time, bit by bit, because I wanna make sure that my paste is gonna be a perfect texture. So in the beginning, as you're adding in your coconut milk, it will be hard in the beginning. And I didn't want to hide that from you guys, so I just wanted to show you, you know, directly what it looks like in the beginning. Because I know some other YouTubers, they try to make it look so easy, but no, let me tell you something, it's not easy. So I suggest you do this bit by bit, adding in your coconut milk, because the thing is, if you don't do it this way, your dough or paste might be either too thin or too thick. And that's the biggest problem. But as you can see, it's a little thick and that's about fine, you know, because remember we did add water to the yeast. So I'm just mixing all the rest of the liquid that I have from the coconut milk. All right. And hey, you gotta put in that arm work as well. <laughs> just want to put that out there but now as you can see I'm just going to pour in some of the yeast and I did add well the rest of it off camera but um yeah you're just going to mix it together and as you notice 
the texture went from a hard dough to a paste, okay? So that's the whole reason why I said just pour in your liquid step by step because you don't want it too thin or too thick and this is the perfect texture. So since we are done with that part, we will just be adding in the saran wrap. Whoa, adding the saran wrap on top of the bowl, not in it. I'm so sorry, I don't know what's going on. But yes, we are placing the saran wrap on the top because we want to seal our puff puff pastry. And I like to use um, a lid as well to keep it properly sealed. And I will suggest that you place this bowl in either your oven, don't turn the oven on, just somewhere where it can just sit and be cool and rise peacefully, okay? So I'm gonna let mine rise three to four hours and then after I'll show you. So it's been about three to four hours. Well, okay, let's be real. It's been four hours and this is what it should look like. It should have bubbles and holes at the top which indicate it's ready. So in a pot, we will be adding in a lot of oil. As you can see, I used my whole bottle of oil. So um, a lot of oil, please, okay? Because it says puff puff, it's gonna puff. So with the wet hand, I'm just making sure that it's ready and it is, and you can see the texture has changed. So to test it out, you're just gonna scoop with your hand and flip over and squeeze with your thumb and pointing finger. So scoop, squeeze with your thumb and pointing finger. So to be sure that the oil is ready, I will use a wooden spoon. And if it's not bubbling around the spoon, it's not, it's, the oil is not ready, okay? So to test it, I, I'm using the small little piece of the Botacan Puff Puff and as you can see, it floated back to the top, which is a clear indication that it's ready. So I've added a lot off camera. I lost some clips, but the goal is to cook them until they are golden brown on both sides. And be, please be careful. Do not have your eye too high. Don't have your fire too high or else it's going to fry the outside and not the inside. So just carefully cook them and make sure that they're golden brown on both sides. And it's a little frustrating in the beginning for people who are new to this because some of the puff puff or buff rope, they don't wanna turn. But take your time, okay? Take your time doing this. You don't wanna hurt yourself. And I've done it multiple times. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just making sure that there are golden brown on both sides. So there are golden brown on both sides and now I will be gently taking out the botacan, okay? Gently, because this is hot oil and when hot oil touches your skin, it's a disaster. So please just take them out gently and um, if your oil is still pretty hot uh, for the second batch, just lower the, the heat, okay? But um, yeah, just taking them out gently as mentioned because some people I know personally have actually burned themselves. <laughs> but um, yes, and they're perfectly brown as I mentioned. All right. So this is what they should look like. This is your coconut, botacan, puff puff, buff rope, kala, you name it. And this is the inside as I mentioned. Okay, it's soft, not too hard. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.